name is Tiffany Liu. Uh, this is Pratik, Victor, and Dijon. <laughs> Our team will be presenting an analysis about um, Varget store sales. Um, so here's a bar graph about uh, oh, comparing product categories, which are technology, furniture, and office supplies. And the greatest sale is, the uh, greatest category sale is technology, and the worst is office supply. And later on, we'll be going into detail about ways to improve sales. Yeah. All right, um, so here we notice that we're selling a lot of furniture in the South, um, 22,241 to be exact. Um, <laughs> But then if we look over here uh, into our product subcategories, uh, office supplies, we see that office supplies, that's our least, uh, that's our least selling product, or our least selling subcategory um, within our bargain store, or within the bargain store. Um, and then technology, um, obviously technology, that's where we're selling the most of. Um, and if you see here, we're selling most of our technology um, on the West Coast. Um, and that can be because there's a higher population on the West Coast and it's more uh, tech driven um, on the West Coast as well, especially being here in the Silicon Valley. Um, yeah, go ahead and go to the next slide. Okay, so for this slide, I went deep into seeing where we were losing money and where we were making profit. And I went even deeper and I found out the, uh, the customer's name so that our salespeople are informed in terms of who they're dealing with and they are informed why they're losing money and also in areas that we can improve. For example, we can see that in the corporate sector, we're losing uh, tons of money. This whole section is all corporate, and it has the most losses in any other sector. As for this one, we can see that we have minus 1,766, so that's almost $2,000 worth of losses. So from this analysis, we can um, see which customers are the ones costing us the money, and in which sector, sector they're in. And for further analysis, can we move on to the next slide? So being in logistics, I know how, how, how expensive logistics um, costs in terms of shipping costs. So what I wanted to identify was wh um, why corporate was costing us or, or losing us so much money. So for a deeper analysis, I went into the delivery method. I know that shipping is very expensive and sometimes um, shipping is what drives costs the most. Um, we all know that when we order from Amazon or different e-commerce websites, it's always the shipping. Like the product could be super cheap but the shipping could be like three or two times higher than that, making the product extremely more um, higher. And so yeah, from this analysis, we can see that the shipping cost for corporate was a thing that was uh, driving our profits down. So in the delivery truck, we were losing almost $2,000 worth, um, worth of profits just because of our, our, our shipping method, and that was from corporate. And over here, we can also see that corporate was costing us money in Express Air, so they cost us about $700, and that was from Express Air shipping. And then on the next one over, it was corporate again, costing us $366. So from this analysis, what we, what we um, plan to implement is teach our salespeople to um, have a better methods of ordering stuff. For example, maybe we can send the, customer, uh, the customer's memos. If there's certain uh, products that they order on a regular basis, such as office supplies or technology equipment that they regular, regularly need, um, they can be informed in advance, uh, therefore we can use um, slower shipping methods such as a delivery truck instead of using express air or regular air. We can just do that on ground which will save not, us, well, not just us money but also the customers money. And for further explanation on the petite. <coughs> so, um, Vince, can, can you go back to that slide? Thank you. So, uh, to kind of just go off of what Victor said, on the opposite spectrum of that, we also wanted to pay attention to the sales that we are making. So for example, on the for our furniture subcategory, uh, we've noticed that we're making a lot more sales from our delivery trucks. Uh, we're using the ship method uh, for our furnitures. And for our technology, we're using <coughs> regular air. Um, and also one thing that I really noticed and I thought was very interesting was for almost all of our uh, express air, we've, we've, def we've actually made more, um, we've actually lost more, Bargain has lost more than they've made profit from Express Air. Uh, and then going on right here, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the preferred delivery method as to what the most common delivery method is, which is delivery truck, and then going off and then just 
as the bars get smaller, we, we can see that we're, we have less, um, using less for regular air and delivery uh, for our critical ship methods, ones that need to be delivered at a more efficient rate. So um, I'm going to pass it on to can you, can you John or all right. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, <laughs> from the, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, so, I, okay, sorry. So as you can see right here from consumer um, appliances right here, we're, what is, oh, the, okay, um, okay, so Alaska, uh, we're selling 10,123 um, appliances in Alaska. So what we did here is we broke it up into our, um, our customer segments. So we have customer corporate, Home office and technology for the last one. Hey, do you mind? Yeah, scrolling down. Oh, small businesses. Sorry. Um, so, just to further add on from this analysis, what we were trying to really discover was our our sales based on state and on consumers and also subcategories. We want to see which specific products are selling the most in specific states, and therefore we can make further proje projections and. Um, to meet the customer's demands, such as if there's a high demand for labels or office furnishing or papers in a certain sector, we can uh, better communicate with them and um, give them better deals or just a better promotion in general. So this will be very helpful for our marketing people in terms of where our sales are being made and in which states and in which states we need to focus on, on marketing. So overall, our main objective was to generate more sales and eliminate the areas that were losing money and from this analysis, we can just um, further dig, uh, we can dig down deeper and find out which areas we need to promote more just to increase our revenue and increase our, increase our sales. Any more insights? So in conclusion, our main objective was to increase our revenue, increase our sales, and decrease our losses. So from this analysis, um, we can give it, we can, um, hand it over to our salespeople, our marketing team, and they can um, utilize information to uh, make better marketing campaign, campaigns and uh, better uh, targeting strategies, uh, consumer targeting strategy, strategies. So that's all we have. Thank you. Uh, one, one quick question. Do we have any, any analysis on a per state basis? Do we have any specific section here where we can go to a specific date and look at everything? To so a specific date? State. Oh, specific state. state. We have the states right here. No, we actually only have the state names right here, so we can't actually click them to see the specifics, but in the future, we would probably do that just to have more uh, thorough information. Okay. Okay, so can you go to the sales by region and product category slide? Uh, I think the second one from left, okay, yeah, that's one. Okay, so this is a by region, okay, got it. So what was your takeaway from the whole project? You want to share these yeah, I can answer that. Um, so the whole takeaway from the whole project, we wanted to really uh, drill down and understand where we're making most of our, um, our profit and where we're losing uh, most of our sales. Um, so we realized that technology was our highest, um, our highest uh, product category that was that had the most uh, total sales. And uh, with that analysis, we also discovered that office supplies uh, we we sold the least in office supplies. So that was really hindering the success of our or of the bargain uh, company. So um, one solution, or yeah, one solution or a suggestion that we do recommend is we recommend uh, not necessarily cutting out office supplies, but really drilling down and understanding why our office supplies weren't selling uh, as much as the technology. So um, that could win. That, and one thing that uh, could, uh, well, one thing that can play a, a major effect um, to our analysis is the fact of, well, the fact of the matter that um, where, where are we sending our, uh, our office supplies exactly? Or like who's buying the office supplies and what's the population growth in that, in that general area? Like is there a high demand? And if there is a demand, then we need to create a demand for it because overall it's uh, supply and demand or, you know, create, or like I said, to create that demand so we can start um, supplying. So one thing that, uh, one thing that I would highly suggest um, is just uh, really, you know, like just focusing on office supplies and not necessarily uh, um, 
not necessarily always relying on our uh, our most uh, selling um, uh, uh, products, uh, such as uh, printers and scanners. Um, and then, because printers and scanners, that works hand in hand with office supplies too, you know, such as papers and rubber bands and you know paper clips. Because you just can't turn in paper, you know, especially if it's page numbers. You know, you, you turn in research papers, papers one through fifteen, and they're all scattered. You know, so you, you kind of I need those office supplies. So that, that was our conclusion. You know, we really wanted to understand why our office supplies weren't doing so well. Does, did that okay. answer your question? Did Morley, anything else? Um, no, no, I think, uh, no other questions.